for Susanna Crusoe. There is a certificate with the true father's name. If this certificate ever appears, you know what it will prove. Jeremiah Blackthorne has no right to his fortune. The Crusoes are the true heirs. Kill the savage first. We saw you drown. Then why are you still here? Your boy said, wait for Crusoe, and you told me this was going to be a rescue. I said I wanted to find him. Is this going to be a problem? No. I know better than to make trouble for a man like you. But that boy loves you by all accounts. How can you do this to him? Do I pay you to ask me stupid questions? Do I? Crusoe doing with a savage for company? He's lost all civilization. Sad state for an Englishman. No, killing him will be an act of mercy. Righteous mercy, no less. <laughs> you should let me do it. Hardly seems right to make your own sister a widow. <laughs> that was Samuel Tuffley, Susanna's brother. The other one was Nathan West. Keep up the shirt. We can't leave without Mr. Blackthorn. What? I must have killed him already. I saw. Here's a plan. You know they've had an outbreak of the black pox in Topago. Why don't you just ship in a boatload of lepers and let nature take care of your problem? Actually, I'm done with having other people take care of my problems. Somehow it always seems to create more work for me. Jeremiah hired an assassin to sort out Crusoe on the boat from London. The man washed back in on the morning tide. That's enough from you, Samuel. Sorry, Jeremiah. <laughs> so. Get some provisions together. Get ready for a long hike. What about Crusoe? Leave the men to hunt him down. It's obviously not where your talent lie. Where are we going? To his house in the trees. He left something behind and I want it. So we missed the kill? I'll be happy just to view the remains.
Come on, we got him! We got him! So, what does this Crusoe look like, eh? Like this. I apologize. What did you hear? Blackthorn did send the assassin. Did that feel good? As a start. We have to get back to the treehouse. I'm not that good with sailor's knots. That should do. Come on. Left it. Left. Ah. Easy. Come on! <clears throat> Who's testing it first? Hmm? Well, I'm glad we're good for something. Tell me, if I drowned and was Crusoe out of the way, what would you do then? I really don't know, Jeremiah. You have a very rich niece and nephew, you? Never crossed my mind. In case we're being followed, I don't expect it, but young Crusoe has a talent for survival. What's the matter with him? I reckon we've got them pinned down between us and the sea. If we keep the line, they'll not get away from us. Do you hear me? Yes, Mr. Higgs. I don't hear you! Yes, Mr. Higgs. Yes, Mr. Higgs. Keep your eyes overhead. These jolly boys can hide in the trees. Every single memory I have is one act of kindness after another. Then they were not an act of kindness, but a means to an end. He is the false friend. I can't trust anything this man's ever told me. It's like my whole life has been another man's lie. With God as my witness, I swear this man loved me. Do you feel betrayed? Bereaved. Then we will kill him. As soon as I know what it means to Susanna and the children. Make final leather gloves for ladies and gentlemen. If you damage the hide, you will be punished. If you cut yourselves and bleed upon the hide, you will be punished. If you speak one word, you will be punished. Do not forget. God loves you all. Mother would never make us do this. Mother isn't here. She's dead. No, she's not. Ow! Quick, hide your hand. Swap pieces. Stay there until you learn to obey a just authority. I can hear thunder. It's not thunder. Are you sure? 
It's a waterfall. Must be a big waterfall. It is. Father, what's that? What? So this swamp is not bottomless. <laughs> well, at least we're ahead of them now. Look, Crusoe. They are way ahead of us. Crusoe's dog. Thought as much. Hey, come here. Come here, boy. Come on, then. I've got a little pressy for you. I hate dogs. Stinking things. They carry plague, you know. What are you doing? Stopping Crusoe, just like you said. <laughs> and how do we get back? What does he want from the house? I'm guessing my Bible. Why? I have no idea. How many times have I read every scrap and scribble that's in it? in this Bible, anyway. Jeremiah? Please. We have followed you halfway across the globe. You're being paid. And more than ready to get blood on our hands for it. So throw us a bone, Jeremiah. If we're not looking for Crusoe right now, what are we looking for? If you must know, the one piece of paper that could take away my entire fortune, even if I wipe every Crusoe off the face of the planet. Jeremiah, do you actually need a fortune? There is another way. Yes. Through the piranhas. Yes. Remember when the guard of Costa came to the island? The soldiers built a raft to cross it with. Come on. Well, good lord. Imagine living like that. <laughs> like an ape. <laughs> remember that gypsy camp you made for your sister in the warehouse? I remember. Expected her to live in it. And she did. I lost all respect for her there and then. <laughs> Mr. Blackthorn?
it's somewhere else. Burn it! Burn it all! Shall we? Let's. Forgive me, Robinson. There is nothing left for us here, Crusoe. Crusoe. It is not safe for us here. Listen to me. You and I. We are ghosts on this island. We will go places where they cannot find us. We will kill them one by one. Take the ship and sail back home with it. It's a very simple plan. I'm a very simple soul. The good ones always are. I can't stand here staring at it all day, Jeremiah. I have said that I am sorry. We have to go down and find the river. With a flesh-eating fish. We have to swim for it. He goes first. Hurry up. I do believe we have a miracle. It's no miracle. Robinson's here. Right, quick as you can. If 
found it. Yeah. Too small. We'll have to go one at a time. I want to split them up. Robinson, I've got what you want. I see. But do you know what it means? It means a man I once looked up to and revered is a man I should despise. I wish I could make you understand. Go back to your ship. Wait for me there. What about them? They're with me now. I could just go there and set sail, you know. I know. But you won't. I could have killed them all for you. I know. You know it offends me to miss the men on purpose. Thank you. I need you to take the raft. Follow Jeremiah. Be sure that he makes it back to the ship in one piece. Not even an accident. No accidents. I want to be able to look him in the eyes. What about the other two? This is your last chance. <coughs> I don't know if it's possible to flog a man sober, but I'm about to find out. <coughs> As you choose. Place the door. No good, we'll have to turn back. That's easily done. All you need to do is get past me. Well, that was a stupid waste of a pistol shot. Don't you think every man deserves a chance to fight for his life? That sounds like a challenge. He's on his own. Are you sure about this, Robinson? I've seen you with a sword. I was a novice then. <laughs> Well, I doubt you've had much opportunity for practice since then. That puts me at a disadvantage, doesn't it, Tuffley? Just the way you like it. If he's any good, jump in. You'll be hungry for news from home, I expect. Remember the Swan's Yard warehouse? We took it. Kicked out your wife and children, and Blackthorn took them in. Can you believe that? Your own sister. Father's favorite. Until she disappointed him with you. So not much love to be found there, really. Though, I think Jeremiah had his hopes up. Oh, don't worry. She wouldn't have him. So you know what he did before we set sail? had her declared mad and put your children in an orphanage. A lunatic in the family. Oh, the shame of it. 
It's almost as bad as having a crusoe. <laughs> I might worry, Tuffley. If I hadn't learned to disbelieve every word that's ever come out of your mouth. <laughs> but what made it so pleasurable is that you're so gullible, Robinson. <laughs> and our philosophy is that the gullible deserve whatever they get. Look at my terrible form. But then I have been fighting nothing but cannibals and pirates for the last six years. Mr. Tuffley, tell me what you know, or take it to your grave. The choice is yours. Uh, you know that William Blackthorne was Jeremiah's older brother. The wealthy one? Yes, well, the eldest son inherits everything. You never divide the estate, that's how it works. Jeremiah would only be next in line if William died with no children. Which he did, didn't he? <sighs> yes, well, that's what everyone thinks. <sighs> Your mother made an agreement with William Blackthorne. She would bear him a son if he would sponsor her husband into one of the merchant guilds. My father would never agree to that. James Crusoe never knew. That was one of her conditions. He was to think the child was his. He'd be told it died at birth. I can't imagine my wife ever being part of something like that. Actually, Crusoe, if it was for the good of you and your children, I can't imagine anything Susanna wouldn't do. Blackthorn endorsed your birth notice in his own hand. It's proof that you and your line are the heirs to the Blackthorn fortune. What about Jeremiah? Legally, he's entitled to nothing. You could die, and he still gets nothing. It goes to your children, not him. So where's the point in trying to kill me? If you die and he adopts them, and they don't live to come of age, he gets it all back. In a way that can never be challenged. I used to call him uncle. He is your uncle. And William... James Crusoe is my father. That's the truth of my life.
about a minute. Keep your arm out of the water. Go. Move. Struggle and you die. Pull a trigger and you don't get paid! I beg your pardon, sir. What? We thought to use one of Crusoe's own tricks against him, sir. Wise move, wrong target. I'm being followed. I think it's Friday. The Savage! Set your trap again, it's a good one. It's the last thing he'll expect from you. Take him alive! I don't know why you don't just kill me now. Nothing else to tell you. Trust me, sir, I mean, it'll give me great pleasure. <laughs> but I've never killed a man who didn't force me to it. And I'm not rising off my soul for you. Come Ooh. on. Did he have my mother drunk? No one knows. He'll never say. Even she's a stranger to me now. <laughs> Don't lose sleep over that, Crusoe. In my vast and varied experience, all that men can ever know of women is what women want them to know. Why are we enemies, Samuel? I don't know, Crusoe. Money? Position? All the things that don't matter here? And yet, if I turned my back, he'd stab me in it. Without a doubt. It is in the nature of the beast. Mr. Blackthorne, the bosun's found Mr. Tuffley. Any sign of Crusoe? No. Tuffley must have given him the slip. Why don't you ask him? Take his sword. I'm unarmed. And hold him. Wait. I think we can assume that Robinson has a plan. If it was up to me, this would not be a negotiation. It would be a reckoning. A negotiation? What do you have to offer me, Robinson? I have your precious piece of paper. You can have it back. In return for? A way off this island. Done. I think what you're asking, Crusoe, it's a long way back to England. What have you done with my wife and children? They're in safe hands, awaiting my return. I have one liar telling me she's in an insane asylum. I have another liar telling me that she's fine. I don't know what to believe anymore. Well, I won't pretend they're happy, but they haven't come to any actual harm. I want your absolute guarantee that no further harm will come to them. Guarantee? Your solemn word. Now, what's that worth to you? I stood in a church and took a solemn oath in the Bible, and I broke it. You know that? I know. I once thought you the finest of men, Jeremiah. And now all I see is a fortune slave. So what would you have me do? I want you to swear on the soul of the woman that you loved and lost. Her name was Alice, do you remember? 
She bore a child to your brother, and then she married James Crusoe instead of you. Did you have her drowned? No. Then swear on her memory. Swear! I so swear. You just tore up a fortune. That's what it means to me. I just want to go home. Well, I will give you my word. I gave you my word, but I said nothing about your man Friday. Jeremiah! I'm sorry, Robinson. It is in the nature of the beast. A safe passage for you. But if that means your man Friday drowns as we set sail, the choice is entirely yours. Child. Action will ruin them. Now you'll have to be beaten. Stand off, sir. And show respect. I am this boy's mother. Huh. These children have no mothers. I know the man that paid you to lie and say so. In the same spirit, why don't I sponsor your repentance? This is 3,000 years old and a treasure beyond price. Though I dare say you'll get a good one for it. Come on. Do you want to be a monk all your life? Why did we jump? There was blood in the whites of the captain's eyes. It's the first sign of Black Fox. The pilot must have brought us on board. No one on that ship will make it back to England.
Who's there? Jeremiah Blackthorn isn't. <laughs> Get on! I will have faith. My life runs according to some mysterious plan. That the purpose of these trials is known by God. And that one day it will be revealed to me. We'll go on. And next time we're taking the dog. <laughs> <laughs> 